What is up, guys? We're going to jump into a second draft here. Um, the first one seemed to go really well. The set seemed really cool. We have cycling decks. Hopefully, we can jump out of the box and see something else this time around. So let's go ahead and we will use some gems. And we will jump. Ooh, cool. Little baby Godzilla. Love it. All right. We got a little while. Nope. Right into it. Cool. Um, so let's kind of see what happens. See if we can read some signals and figure some things out with this draft. Death of Asus. Whenever a non-creature you control dies, put the top two. Turn your with lesser. Uh, that seems like a cool card. Probably a lot of work to get going. 3-3 three, three, lifelink for threes. Very good. And then cycling payoff. Oh, no. Lord Dracus, I want to say, is going to be really good. And I kind of want to see how good. Pacifism, always good. Dead weights, good card, but seems to go late. Um, this is good for the aggro human deck. Reunion, bristling boar. Okay, so not a whole lot of things to see here. I think I'm between Lord Dracus, Pacifism, and Death of Asus. I do want to see if this card's any good, but I kind of don't want to start off with it. The good thing about this card is it can go in a blue or a, a red deck, mono one because of its mutate cost so you don't necessarily have to play blue red both so it's not a multicolored card so i think i'm going to take it and kind of see where we go uh pacifism also like i said would be a good backup um not in for this yet if we get some cool stuff maybe we'll do it flame spill just a very good removal spell deal four at instant speed and then it has trample basically to deal over more so i'm on that so far Ah, I don't like pump spells, especially sorcery speed ones, even if it does have cycling. Cycling one, I'm, I'm in for that. I like that in the last set draft. I think this guy's probably better than he looks. Most of the time you'll mutate and you'll make whatever it is, a 3-4 flyer right off the bat. And it kind of has haste because you put it on something that's already been out there. So you can kind of get in out of nowhere. Blazing Volley, no. Dark Bargain, it's good. I think Frostlink's probably better in this set than normal because you can also mutate onto it. So you can not only tap down their creature, but afterwards you can use it and mutate it and just kind of do things with it. Essence Scatter is probably pretty good with all the mutate and other things in the set. All that's fine and good, but I don't think anything comes to the power level of just this straight up premium removal. So I think I'll take that. It's a good thing to return with Dracus. So we'll just keep, keep on this path. Reconnaissance Mission is very good. It's kind of like a Biden of Thassa, but it also has Cycle, so when it's not good, you can just get rid of it, make another card. That's great. This card in the Cycling deck, I'm telling you, this card, if in the right deck, can just do a lot of work. Again, not in for a pump spell. No, no way. Ah, cheap Cycler doesn't do a good ability. This is removal. It gets better as the game goes longer. Most of the time, you can cast it for four to deal four, which is going to kill most things, and later on it's even more than that. A good body on a cycling card, always good. Dead weight, like I said, these kind of seem to go late. It's a good card. Bristling Boar. If we think we're going to be in the Mutate deck, I think Bristling Boar would be the pick, but I'm on just staying on kill spells and things we can return with Dracus. So far, we're just red. So we'll just keep on that train. Hemophage, when it mutates, they lose X and you gain X. So the first time it'll be a 3-3 three, three on something and give some a death touch and drain them for one, which is okay, not the greatest. Tap a creature, I like tap effects. That's a decent combat trick. Gust of Wind, I like bouncing things, I like drawing cards. It fits kind of what we're doing. Maybe a Spells Matter stack we're getting into. Uh, Fair Finder is really going to be good in this deck. We can splash colors with it. We can just kind of filter and get a land when we need it. I like that. Ram through another removal spell. We might be in for that. We could get into like a red-green monsters deck. That's okay. Again, a cycler. That's good two-for-one effect. Ooh, we got to make a choice. Um, I think the best upside is ram through right now. So I'll take that and kind of we can just stay open. Oh, so many of these. I really don't want that card. Uh, cheap Cycler. We like that. Two Cheap Cyclers. So the Cycling deck kind of is open. We could backdoor into it. Cycle, drop, tap a person. Essence Scatter. It could still be the Spells deck. 
egg, if we want to be the mutate, that could be decent. We only have one mutate card so far. Thwart the enemy. Raptor, I don't like at all. I think I'm in for Essence Scatter. I think it's good removal. I think we might be a Spells deck, so we can try it. We could go ahead and check out this draft, see if Spells Matters is a good archetype. Let's see. Neutralize. Another, like, cycling card that's great when you don't... When a counter spell is not going to be good enough, you just cycle it and get another card. And when a counter, it's going to be great. Um, Heron. See, now, for the Mutate deck, we definitely want that card. Mutating a flyer and drawing card, that's where you want to be. Hoot Nipper's good. Don't care about any of this. So we want to either be spells or mutate. So now we kind of have to make a choice. Hmm. So far, we don't have anything to return with this. So, so far, he's just a 2-3. Which is fine. Maybe we'll get, we'll get more people. I think... I think I'm going to go with my gut and say mutate. We'll take that. And we got a good fixing for the mutate deck. We're going to go in the teamer. Impulse is okay. That's a good combat trick, but we're not going to be using that. Cheap cycler. This is a great card to mutate onto. Draw. I mean, looting is always great. And if we decide to do the spells deck, we could just play this and the more cards we draw the more cycling we do it can just get bigger and put out a kraken um well we have two mutates that we care about so i think i might be on for the glimmer bell over this i'd rather have a non-human so let's go to the glimmer bell kind of keep staying open mm, i mean that's Good sideboard type card. That's a good thing to mutate onto. It has flash. So again, we're kind of in the middle. Do we want to mutate or do we want a spells matter card? I think I'm going to keep going mutate. I want to try it. Although this, like I said, could definitely be good. We don't need too many essence scatters. They get worse in higher numbers. Um, cycling, Jeep Cycler. That's removal. We could take it, but I don't think we're hurting for removal. I think I'll take this. In case we are spells matter, we could dip some in the yard. Hey, I'm never going to play that. Um, We'll take a wilt. When it's bad, we could cycle it out. We have it makes the main deck. Hmm. I guess we'll take this. Do not see me ever playing it. Gust of Wind. Okay, we'll take that. I do think the Spells Matters deck is open, so I think I might abort some of some of the uh, the mutate plan. I'll just keep taking stuff, and then uh, we'll use this last pack to kind of look at what we got. This is our removal. That's card draw. That's removal. Kind of removal, kind of card draw. And these are our creatures. So, yeah. I think we're more on spells than creatures at this point. Let's take a look at this pack. Mythos of Nethroi. That's just a, uh, a murder with a lot of upside if you can hit the other colors. That's pretty good. Enforcer, we're definitely not in white. Keep safe could be okay, but it's not for our deck. Wow, this doesn't have anything for us. Um, Let's go ahead. I mean, if we're doing maybe spells matter, we could just take the gremlin and kind of ping him to death. Yeah, but that'll will. I'll just take the rare for now and just... Hope that thing wheels. Ooh, that's a big guy. That's probably one of the best 4 4s for 4s in this <laughs> that I've seen in a while. Uh, Parcel Beast, I feel like uh, kind of a variation of Risen Reef. 
I think it's just a great card for the long game. This, eh, it's not in our colors. Divine Arrow is great. Go for Blood. If we get big enough creatures, go for Blood would be good, but right now it's not. Looter is okay. Six mana, six, six, that gains four. I mean, that buys you, I mean, it brings your life back and you get six, six for six. That's pretty good. Uh, I do like this as well. I think I'm going to take this because I think it's a high-end card, but we'll keep up with for this, this mutate deck. Maybe we can get it to come back around. Spirit Dragon. It's a good reason to be Spells Matters. Capture Sphere. Ah, uh, there's Mutate. We gotta really make a choice now. Now, the thing I'm thinking is we could play all these spells in even a Mutate deck. So maybe we just take take the Mutate card, pass up on these two type of cards, and kind of just see if Mutate's any good. We got a good amount of Mutate. We got good spells to bring back with Lord Dracus. So let's go ahead and do this. I have to pick up some fixing along the way. Thieving Otter, I like a lot. And you can mutate it on a lot of these things. Make it better. Ram through is great removal. Uh, we don't have a lot of creatures at this point, but we can pick some up along the way to make the ram through better. Right now, I think I'm on the Otter. I think we need to get more creatures. He can be mutated pretty easily. And he's card draw. We got a lot of like removal type things where we can get things out of the way and get them in. So I'm going to take the otter here. That's a cool card. Hopefully one, one of these drafts I can try to do the flash deck. Again, spells matters. I think, I think both decks are open and we're kind of just flip flopping back and forth. Uh, Frost links, as I said before, I think it's really good in this set. It's going to fit everything we want to do. So we'll take it. When this mutates, put two counters on it. I'm in for that. Definitely in for that. So when you mutate it for four, it becomes instantly a four five on whatever, with any other abilities on whatever you put it on. Gust of Wind would be good for the spells deck, but we're off of that now. Two four is a good thing to mutate on. It's going to be a good creature to get. That's just a body, and this wouldn't be terrible, but I think we're in for the recluse. We'll definitely want to do that. Give us some cool things to do. Ooh, man. <laughs> yeah, this deck's open. The spells matters, man. Of one mind. Uh, divination ain't terrible. I'm, I'm pretty happy with divination. Hmm, what's better? Let's kind of look at the deck. See how many... We got seven sorcerers in instance. So this could deal some damage. Two mana. I'm going to take a divination. I think it's going to be better. I think we got, we got removal. This is really good, but it's going to be double red. And we already don't have good fixing. I think I'm going to take the ram through as just another good way to just get things out of the way. Yep. Everything spells matters comes back. Crazy. All right, cool. This guy is going to be great in our deck. We're going to be able to fix a lot of our remainder problems with him. Getting two of those makes me very happy. Okay. <laughs> Sprite Dragon might be okay. Ran through late, late, late. So green has to be open. Plummet. Okay, we can take this will out. We can probably take this gremlin out. Glimmer Bell is a good thing. And we'll take this cathartic reunion out. Uh, weaponize the monsters. Deals two to any target. That's cool, but we don't have enough monsters. So we'll just take this 3-5 as another body. Impulse. That ain't bad. So we got 21 cards so far. And all this removal. So yeah, we're in a good spot. We can kind of just keep staying open. 
Shark Typhoon seems great. You just cycle it and, make, and draw a card and make a big shark when you don't want to use it as an, its ability to just keep making sharks. We might be able to make sharks in this deck. But most of the time we'll just cycle it and make a big, cycle it and make a big one. That'd also be pretty good. We'll mutate a few times and be able to deal to it each turn. That's great. This would be great for the deck too. I feel like it draws your cards each turn. And then when it doesn't, it makes your creature bigger and bigger until eventually it will draw cards. Yep, well, we'll take the Typhoon. We didn't look through much of the rest of the pack. But luckily, Typhoon's just a bomb. It's a Hate Bear. All these white cards we're not going to use. That's not a good fixing for us. Pacifism, a lot of good white cards up there. Gust of Wind, we have one. It's still good. Fertilid. Enters with two counters. You remove one. And we can put it on the... Yeah, so we could mana fix with this guy as well. So that would be pretty cool. And then this mutate again. I think I'll take the sandworm. I think it's good to cycle early. And I think it's just a big guy that most people don't want to rumble with. And can't because of the power because of its ability. So we'll gladly take him. Survivor's Bond. That's not bad. For the lid, we want to fix our mana. But here's this guy. Whenever he mutates, you get a tap X where how many times you mutate mutates creatures so you can tap one to two people each time almost and i mean <laughs> that's pretty good i feel like we got we're pretty all in on a mutate deck now we can kind of start moving along from some from some of these ideas i'm going to keep this because mutating onto a flying haster feels pretty good oh, later that well, the cycling deck nope don't want that. Don't need another body like that. Oh, uh, wow. Really not much here for us. Um, this cycles for one. So it's almost like a free spell in the deck. So we'll, we'll put it in there. We might cut it. We might not. Don't need the white cards. Again, cycling. I mean, mutating onto a flyer. And especially one that can untap itself. Seems like a great, great, uh, great thing to have in this kind of deck. And nothing else is competing with it whatsoever. So, good early drop. Mm, couple counter spells. Phase Dolphin wasn't very, is the kind of card that wasn't very good in a couple sets ago. When, I think it was in Eldraine, it had a similar card that made something unblockable. Now, it gets better because you can mutate onto it, so now you can kind of uh, make him a sizable creature and make something unblockable, so it could be better in this set, but I still don't think it's great. And none of these really, none of these really appear to me, so I'll take another Essence Scatter. Well, I like this stuff. I think the Bristling Boar is going to be really strong in this deck. I think Sandworm also just being able to cycle early gives a little early stuff. Glimmer Bell, we have two of. I'm not going to get on another one. I'll take the Bristling Boar. It's good on its own and great if you put stuff on it. Cool. So this is mana fixing. We can go get anything. Or this is just a two color land. This also is a Vigilance and can be mutated onto and get us a land. Might be better in the deck. Yeah, I'm going to take this. I think the Far Finder is better for us. Empathy came back. Heck yeah. Nothing anywhere close. Mystery's Egg could be cool in this deck, but we're taking the Empathy. I think it's a bomb style card. All right, Fertile it. Another way to fix our mana. So we're going to fix it and do have our mana fixing without any of the dual lands. It's going to be... A sight to see. We'll see if it works out. Alright. A little regrowth action. Would be a good cyborg card. If we were cyborging in games. That's ridiculously death, dead weight. We're probably not going to play him. We don't want any humans in this deck. Dolphin. Okay. Alright. So we're pretty well into the mutate deck. I think we found a pretty good lane to be in. 
Let's go ahead and take all these lands out and kind of look at what our curve is and what we want. Don't feel like we need an impulse. We got a good, pretty high amount of creatures. All right, let's move all the removal out of here so we can kind of look at what we're doing. It's card draw, removal. We'll put that in the card draw. Removal. Removal. Okay, we'll move this over because we're going to be cycling it most of the time. Um, one, two, we'll probably cycle this for five. We'll put that in the five drop. And this is going to mutate for six. So we're kind of adjusting the curve to where it's actually going to be. This is going to get out of the deck. This mutates for four, so we can put it over there. And these things mutate for three, which we're going to be doing most of the time. Dolphin can get out of there. I think we need this for mana fixing. That's just a great card. This can return any of this stuff. Definitely. Okay, so let's kind of look at things here now. Now that we've kind of organized uh, Ivy Elemental is a great thing to uh, mutate onto because you get to keep the counters when you mutate. So, say you're making someone a 3 4 flyer, and Ivy, you're making the Ivy El Elemental that you made a 3 3 for 4. Well, you put a 3 4 flying on top of that, and it's a 6 7 flyer that drew you a card. So, Ivy Elemental is perfect for this deck. I think we're going to keep Glimmer Bell, both of them, because putting these kind of style stuff on it's going to be great. Uh, same thing goes for Sprite Dragon. Flying in haste. It's got good stats. I mean, it is blue-red, so casting it early might be a problem. So it might not grow as much as we want to. But if it grows one, two counters at all, when we mutate it, it's going to get just out of hand. So I think we got to keep it. Cycling, that's almost a free card in our deck. Um, Frostlink's great. Otter's great. Probably need the fixing. This guy can be over here. Returning any of this feels great. More fixing. That's kind of fixing in card draw. If you're able to do this every turn, it's going to be hard to lose games. Uh, this guy's a generic guy. Let's get him out of here. Our Pelicor is great. Okay, we have a lot of cards still to cut. I'm going to cut at least four, probably five. So let's look at some of these non-creature spells. We got 17 creatures, so I would probably cut one to two creatures. Maybe more. Okay, so let's look at this other stuff. Ram through, we should have big enough creatures to kill things, so we're going to keep all those. Deal four is great. Uh, this replaces itself. We have some flying. So we'll probably keep that. That's good removal. Probably can cut Essence Scatter. We're going to be tapping out a lot, so holding holding up counter magic probably isn't where we want to be. So I think I'm okay with cutting probably both Essence Scatters and letting this kind of be our removal and kind of just our beatdown plan be the plan. Okay, we, this is great mana fixing, and that's great mana fixing. This is expensive mana fixing, so I think I'm okay cutting it. All right, let's just make sure there's no non-human. They're all non-humans. Okay, good. All non-humans. That's not being cut. I feel like some card draw on this deck would be great. It's tough. It's tough at this point to what to cut. I like the sandworm as a way to win in the late game. And also cycle early when he's not what you want. So he's kind of a mobile type spell to where you can, whatever is best for you at the time, you get to use him that way. And I like all these early drops a lot. I like them being bodies good bodies to mutate. I 
it's almost like I want to keep all the mutates and get rid of some of the other ones that aren't mutates and kind of load up one big dude with a bunch of cool abilities. But that's probably not a good idea. It gets better with Archipelago Pour and some of the other stuff. This is tough. So we're, we're looking at a pretty good deck. This is pretty much always going to get cycled. We're not going to hold up, put that out there for these kind of spells. It's not going to make many sharks, so I think we're just going to rely on drawing a card and making one shark. Still good, though. I'm not going to cut it. That's a good one to get on to. Drawing a card. Okay, so let's look at our colors. One, blue, two, blue, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen blue, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, twelve. Let's see red. One, two, three, four, red. Okay, so what if I make red matter a little bit less early game and take out the sprite. If I take out the sprite, I still got a flying early drop to get onto, and this guy can be played for double blue for his mutate, so I don't need red as much, and I can just hold up red late game. And then my fixing doesn't have to be so, so good, so I can also cut like a, this guy possibly. I think that's the call. I think that's what I want to do. Let's go ahead and put everything where it's supposed to go. Okay. That's kind of what the curve looks like. And it looks like a pretty good curve. I think between the Fair Finder and the two of these guys going and getting lands out of my deck and being able to cycle this. I think I'm okay doing 16 land. I don't know if it's necessarily right, the right call, but that's what I'm going to do. And I don't need four mountains. That just seems absurd to me. So let's go get islands. Go get at least one island. Probably on two mountains. Forest. Let's just kind of split it right down the middle. There. Seven, seven, two. Now we know for this we can go get mountains. So that's one, two, three. Three more mountains. We can go to five. Five mountains for two cards. I can even maybe cut one more mountain. I think that's all right. I think it's good enough mana base for this. Okay, so this is our deck. We are going to be mutating. And we're going to test out this archetype. We're going to see if it's any good in this set. So hopefully you'll stay tuned and watch the video. And we'll see how we do, guys. See ya.